So hey Acoustics 501 students, this is Dr. Russell in uh, class yesterday when we were talking about the compound string. I gave the example of uh, taking guitar and unwinding half of the string uh, of, a, of, a, of a string with a core and a wrapping around it, unwinding half the string and, and the, the weird sound that it produces. Well, one of our resident students, Nick Ortega, happened to have a guitar and his strings broke and he was in the process of replacing his strings and so he thought he had nothing better to do last night than sit around and unwind a string. So he took about an hour and unwound half of one of his strings and then brought the guitar into me so I could demonstrate it for you. So here's the sounds that the compound half unwound string on a guitar make. So here's the guitar. It's a uh, just a simple acoustic guitar. Uh, in this case there's only one string on the guitar, but here's the string, and if I move my way up halfway along the string, you can see right there, oh, get that in focus, there we go, right there is where the winding stops, so below the lower half of the string is a thick wound string all the way down to the, the bridge, halfway up or so it becomes unwound, he uh, soldered just a little bit to keep it together, but the rest of the string is just a single core, so a compound string thin, at the top end and thick at the bottom end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fret the string right at the junction. Bring that in focus again. Fret the string right at the junction. If I pluck the lower part of the string, it sounds fairly normal because the only the lower half of the string is vibrating. And that lower half of the string is a normal uniform half of a string. And so it sounds relatively normal. If I do the same thing, if I fret the string there and pluck the top half of the string, it's a little bit higher frequency because it's a different density, same tension, but a different density. Less density would mean a higher frequency, higher wave speed. But it also sounds like a normal string. However, if I unpluck the string, unfret the string, and let the whole string vibrate along its entire length, you get something if I can do it without making it rattle, that sounds nothing like a guitar at all. In fact, it sounds more like a bell. It doesn't sound like a regular guitar string at all. You don't get integer harmonics. Instead, you get all kinds of weird things, weird frequency ratios because of this compound two density string. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of fun. He brought the guitar in to show me. I wanted to share it with the rest of you guys. All right, have fun.